From the Opelco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is an OSU update with John Helsley. I'm Jenny Carlson. John, obviously season over for the Cowboys on the hardwood, but a little news last week. Brian Williams, who saw his playing time diminish as the season went on, but still a guy that was one of those regulars in the rotation. He's transferred. What do we know about that at this point? Well, you know, he's a graduate, which allows him to transfer and be able to be uh, eligible immediately wherever he goes. Um, it, like you said, a guy whose playing time diminished late in the season, uh, really never seemed to regain the, the, the skills and, and especially the shooting touch that he had earlier in his career. He had a, a significant wrist injury, and it just didn't go well for him. So not sure where he's going to go yet. If I was going to guess, I'd say maybe closer to home in Louisiana, but nothing clear on that yet. Does that affect the Cowboys and, and what they were looking at for next year in a big way? I would think he might have been – might have been a guy that could have at least, uh, you know, contended for a starting role. You would have thought he would have contended for that and at least been a guy off the bench. I tell you, they've got some some players coming in and Joe Burton and Jared Terrell, who they think are going to be immediately Im immediate impact players. They've got Leighton Hammonds and Jeffrey Carroll, a couple of guys that were freshmen last year. So perhaps Brian Williams saw some handwriting on the wall and decided, hey, if I really want to play a lot my senior year, I need to go find that place to do that. Also, some staff changes going on on Travis Ford's staff. One of his assistants, longtime assistant with him, he's not retaining. What, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, Steve Middleton, a guy that uh, coached with Travis at Massachusetts and came to Oklahoma State with him, uh, is not going to be with the team next year. And There had been some talk that, that maybe Travis would be urged to shuffle his staff a little bit, and that's what this appears to be when you think, you know, a guy that's a, a longtime friend as well. And so we're going to see a little bit of a different uh, face on the, on the Cowboys bench next year and, you know, maybe a, a little different, you know, instruction as well. When you talk about Middleton and his role, where, what are they going to be going out to try to find? A guy that, big-time recruiter, big-time coach, I mean, X's and O's guy. What are they going to be looking to replace in, in, in replacing Middleton? Yeah, Steve Middleton's primary job, you know, along with everybody recruits somewhat, but he was the, the big man coach. He worked with big men. So uh, they have uh, guys that can recruit on this staff already, I think, strong recruiters. I don't know that they have to go out and get an ace in that regard, but maybe somebody that can come in and work with the big men. And it's been a sore spot. They haven't been able to, one, attract a lot of great big men and develop them. All right. Thanks, John. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.